Hi everybody, I'm back again. <laughs> anyway, a Sunday morning, I get up, everything's flickering, right? Something wrong with the power. Um, you know, the, the clock is flickering. Um, I tried to boot up the computer, it wouldn't go online because it was clicking in and out. So I figured there was something wrong, so I went outside. Uh, I looked down here and up at the power pole there. There's a switch, and that's how they cut your power off now. Is they, they, they do it at the pole because people know how to change the, how to reverse the meter, so or how to jump the meter. So what they do is they unhook you up there, right? Anyway, it was arcing, right? I still had lights, but they were flickering. So I went in and I called the power company and I told them about it. And the moment I hung up the phone, I said, I bet you, you know, there's probably nothing wrong with it now. And I looked out and it wasn't arcing, so I came down. And I'm looking up at it, but something odd looked. And then all of a sudden, something fell off the pole. There's the old switch. The pole had gotten hit by, a, we had a thunderstorm the other night, and the pole had gotten hit by the thunder. Lightning. Or the lightning. Yeah, hit by the thunder. Yeah, boom! Yeah, yeah well you did, you were awoken by this god awful Oh yeah, well, no, I wasn't asleep at that point. I was still awake, and all of a sudden I heard the instantaneous, I saw the instantaneous flash, boom, and I knew something had hit really, really close, right? So, the power company came over, and uh, I came down and showed him this thing, and he said, yeah, it happens all the time. And if you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a splinter up there, great big splinter, where it hit the pole and uh, blew the fuse in this. And uh, as I was standing there, this comes sailing down and lands about two feet in front of me. <laughs> like he didn't hit you in the head. Oh, look at that. That would have been joyous. Any man. Oh, man. Anyway, that's my uh, power thing. I mean, that's quite amazing. And, but that uh, that blew the he told me that blew the fuse. But sometimes they'll cook on for a couple of days before they'll shut down, and uh, that's what was happening. But anyway, this is what the bear did to my uh, garbage box. Tore the end right off it. So I'm going to reinforce it. Smart little creature. As you can see, if you look way down there, you can see the closest host to me. And if you look way up there, you see the horizon, and there's nothing for quite a ways that way. Yeah, this is my own little... If we could just get rid of this high, move this highway about a thousand meters that way, excellent. Right? Be excellent. My apple tree, one of my apple trees. I can smell that thing. What thing? That. Yeah, that must have been what you smelled the other day. What outside? Burning smell. Yeah. Got some more apple trees down there. I just I planted two years ago. The, well, when we first moved here, that was the only pine we had. Uh, and subsequently, uh, this has dropped a couple of small pines. Uh, have started You're dying. Up here, and one over there, and I planted a couple over that way. All right. I like pine trees. I want to get the. Uh, I want to be able to get the pine uh, pollen. Uh, I understand it's really, really good for it. Uh, here's my blueberries. They're not doing too well, right? So I'm gonna try and propagate. Like they're gonna come up. But I'm gonna try and propagate some of them this year, um, and then move them to a certain uh, another spot. I, I I really didn't know what I was doing with the soil and I don't think I, I, I think they're in the wrong type of soil and uh, uh, that's too bad I mean I should have picked a better spot but I thought this would be good because the pine was here and it would be naturally uh, acidic but the soil is not like if you can see down here I mean I'm, I'm, I'm sure we got all the gravel in the world here I should go into the gravel business. All right. But anyway, 
the power of nature. Don't fool with Mother Nature. It can really do you. So fortunately, I had uh, I have everything on power bars, and I shut them down every night. So it didn't. There was no uh, there was no surge to my computer or anything like that. But this here has got a fuse in it designed to stop it. But if it had to hit that pole there, it would have been a different story. Oh, this is something I made. Since we're, so, well, you know, we had that queuing video. Called this Great 769's Rants. Yeah. Comes on to tell you about one thing, but he goes off on random little rants. I want to coarse soil sifter. Didn't have any wood so I hewed up some some wood. Got a nice soil sifter there. This tree this is an interesting tree. Like when first moved down here, there was a bunch of growth that ran in behind it. And the back side of that tree was totally bare. That's like five years ago. So I cleaned out behind it. And look what happened. See how it's filled in? Isn't that amazing? Right? Uh, it's amazing how they are. Come on up here. I'm going to show you some, a couple more trees. guy used to come down here, he died last fall, two years ago, he came down here, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, he wanted a birch, he wanted to decorate a birch for Christmas, and he couldn't find a good one, I said, well, I got some birches, so what I did was, I didn't want to kill the tree, so I just took the top of the tree, and look how the tree is developing, right, I took the top off, but the tree still lives, right, and it's, and it looks like it's flourishing there, right, and, uh, from now on, this is called Tony's tree, right? He died last November, and he used to come up quite a bit. And then right here, this is one I took for a Christmas tree. You can see, I took this for a Christmas tree three years ago. And look at how this tree is, you know, I didn't kill the tree, I just took the top of it. and. You know the tree is starting to the, it's starting to branch up and 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 it continues. All right, that's pretty cool. I find that neat. Might as well show them my favorite tree. Where's your favorite tree? He forgets. <laughs> oh, that's the one that, that's intertwined together, isn't it? Yep. There's a birch and a spruce growing so close they're starting to meld together into one tree. It'll be interesting in about 10 years how it looks. Some places the, the, the bark is just, they're, they're, they're enclosed, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. There's some places where a spruce branch is growing out of the birch trunk. It's up further though. Two different species of trees. Anyway, this ear here, it looks all overgrown and it kind of is, but this I'm developing into, uh, alder makes really, really good kindling wood and it burns really hot. so. About every three to four years, I come in and I harvest all this alder. And then it grows right back up again. Right? Once it gets up, uh, well, 
that's uh, two years growth. So once it gets up, I'll come in, uh, like say, in two years, and then I'll harvest all this alder again, and then it just grows right back up again, right? And that way it, it makes really great kindling work, right? This is dead wood. Everything in here was dead at one time. I, I, I cut out most of the dead stuff, right? Uh, I still got a little more here that I could take out. But for some reason, the spot, just, all the trees here died, right? And you can see over here, there's still quite a few more down in there that are dead that I'm going to have to take out and I'll, I'll take out and burn them. All right. It's a shame. I, I think it's just that they were all so close together. But there was a, there's a couple of big ones that died too. There was one here and some of them fell over but uh, but this is dead wood. I call it dead wood. This is where we And um, if you notice, the raven is still there. The raven's still there? The raven's still there and the robin is still there. Yeah. Nothing's eating them. Where are they? Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, well, the insects the raven. are eating them. Yeah, the insects are, but the pigeon was here. It disappeared overnight. The pheasant overnight. All the other pieces of animal flesh have disappeared overnight. Where? Ravens and robins, nothing's eating them. Raisins yeah, have been there for three weeks. Yeah, but I think this time weeks. of year, too, there's a lot of stuff around. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff around to eat, so they're not eating. Yeah, but usually the coyotes will scavenge anything. Yeah. Yeah, but there hasn't been any coyotes around now for months. Yeah. yeah that's a piece of steel. Yeah. Wow. Ant nest. You know, the ants are the nest anyway. So do we have anything else to say? Well, I don't have a lot to say now. See, there, there was a trailer here at one time in, in this area. There's a septic system and a well system in there. I keep it basically clear. I'd like to, I'd like to put a solar place in there one day, right? You know, build a total solar uh, contained cabin where heavily insulated solar. I, I, I don't know when I'll do that, but eventually I hope to. And if I want electricity, the service is still there, but I was thinking of doing it with uh, the electricity with solar panels, right? Because with LED lighting, you don't need a lot of solar panels. Uh, and, and if I used a uh, laptop computer, right? And, uh, the only problem is I wouldn't be able to use a cell phone because we don't have cell service out here. I'm in one of the last places in the world that doesn't have cell service. It's amazing. Right? And, I, and I'm not complaining. Right? Because I think the cell phone is the, one of the most dangerous things that anybody can use. I, I wouldn't, you know, recommend it. I mean, uh, I read something the other day that... I think the World Health Organization came out and said, yeah, cell phones can cause brain cancer. Or uh, people who use cell phones. for the bear poop. Oh, yeah. Bear poop. Great big pile of it. And there's some down there and some over there. Oh. But he'll probably be back in the fall once the foxberries get out. Uh, they love foxberries. And, uh, but I'm going to get the fox berries before he does because the, they're really good, almost like a cranberry. So anyway, that's all I got to say today. Are you sure? Are you sure? I, I just felt like, uh, you know, babbling on. All right.